Hello my friends, family, esteemed colleagues. Um, a question came to talk a little bit about uh, sleep, uh, how important it is and um, how many hours we should sleep a day. Well, this is kindly personal stuff, but in average, the recommendation is to sleep eight hours because we really feel relaxed and um, good after we have a good long sleep. Now, why do we sleep? I explained that our body is a robot. Um, and a robot needs to be fixed. It is depleting energy and it's gaining energy. It's, it has to detoxify as we are polluting it. And it, can, it cannot do all these things while we are awake. And the reason behind it is the brain. Because for maintenance of any kind of equipment, you need energy. You maintain it, you use energy for maintenance. And when we are awake, we are thinking. We always have some thoughts coming. And as I explained, thoughts are nothing more than broadcasting. And when we broadcast, we use huge amount of energy. So I have explained that um, hydration and detox are very energy demanding. So if you need a lot of energy to produce potassium so you can get your hydration pump, cellular pump running, well, if you are broadcasting, you are using huge amount of energy for this and there is not much left for hydration, for production of potassium. So we do not hydrate well on a cellular level during the day while we are awake. Day or night doesn't matter because some people work at night, they sleep at, during the day. So we need rest. We need disconnect. We have to disconnect the brain. And there are other ways to do it, like meditation, for example. The trick is in disconnecting the brain. Now, many people cannot sleep. They don't have, they are restless. They go to bed and they twist and turn and they cannot fall to sleep. So what they do, they take a sleeping pill. Now, what is a sleeping pill? It's a drug. They become drugged. So when you are drunk, it's like you put fog in your brain. It numbs you out. But you are not sleeping really. This, what we call sleep, it's very shallow. And you wake up multiple times. And then you go back to this shallow sleep. So this is not really allowing you to disconnect and on top of it then during the day you are still sleepy because the drug doesn't just vanish when you wake up in the morning when the day comes it still works there so you are drowsy and then what people do they take a coffee they need stimulant well this is definitely wrong way to go about it So, disconnecting the brain to have a rest, it's very important. And again, you may have a more benefit of falling into deep sleep for 10 minutes than spending whole night being drugged and have these spurts of 
awakening and sleeping, and awakening and sleeping, very shallow. Now, some people feel that they are completely rested after four hours of sleep. Again, the deeper you sleep, the more you are disconnected and your body can then use the energy and to do maintenance. And um, for the maintenance, again, energy is needed. So now if you are glucoholic and uh, you depend heavily on starches, well, you are not eating when you are sleeping. And this means that you cannot, you have reprogrammed your body. <coughs> so now you don't even have mitochondria active. So there is no much energy available. And this is why people wake up and they are hungry and they want to go and they eat. They go in the refrigerator, they start eating. <coughs> because when you're a glucoholic, you are producing way less energy because you don't have enough mitochondria running from fat. So even though you are fat, you do not produce enough energy. So if energy is needed, you will wake up and you will go and eat because immediate bringing a sugar is the only way you can really raise the energy again for a short period of time because within an hour this energy is gone again and again you are going to be searching for food and you you cannot really recuperate this is why the forbidden food is really so detrimental to our health because at night, when we are supposed to be in deep sleep and our body should be regenerating and fixing itself, well, it cannot do it because there is no energy. There is no energy available because we have reprogrammed the body to work on a type of a fuel that we have no storage for. We just simply don't have glucose storage. And forget about the glycogen. I've explained many times. Unless you're in stress, you are not going to go for glycogen. It's not, the glucose is not available. And it's, again, just in the muscles, brain, and liver as the general donor. So this is definitely not our normal fuel. It's a booster. So... There are several factors to consider. You may even have a good sleep. You may have clean blood. Because you can clean blood and you can clean even, clean even cells and consume glucose. Because glucose is not per se toxic that is going to make cells shrink because body is used to sugar. It's used to glucose. It needs it for production of amino acids, proteins. It needs a carboxylic group. So glucose is not toxic in that way, but it reprograms animal body, not only human, animals too. It reprograms it and makes energy supply dependent on glucose. And when that happens, the sleep is not really helping you that much because, you, I mean, you cannot sleep because your body is searching for energy which it doesn't have because it's reprogrammed to the wrong fuel. So you will wake up and go to that fridge and go and grab some something to eat 
Yeah, usually it's a bread, what we tend to take, or some chocolate or something just to give you the boost of energy. And quickly you boost, and then you can go to sleep again, and again you wake up because you just, your body is searching for energy, especially if it needs to fix something. And because we are basically all glucoholics, because we have been misled, it's from Adam time. It's from the Anunnaki time. Okay, this is when Anunnaki made us believe that grain is perfect food and easy. You don't have to move with a herd of animals. You can be stationary. You can build cities because now you have to follow the animal and you have a unlimited source of food just by producing weed. Now this, unfortunately, is making us stupid because brain is a huge consumer of energy. And once when you are reprogrammed on glucose, then you get, your energy gets replenished only when you are eating because you don't have a storage in a body for it. And any surplus that you eat too much glucose is being converted into fat so it can be stored. But then you cannot use the same fat for energy since you have been reprogrammed to glucose. So you keep munging on bread and pasta and rice and getting fatter and fatter. Now if you use a small amount of it, you are not going to get fat, but still it doesn't resolve the problem of energy. But just look at these people now, this soy generation incapable of rational thinking. Zombies. Look at these vegans. They are sick and denying the sickness just because they want to prove that veganism is the way to go. They are all sick. If not right away, they'll become soon. Of course, if somebody is obese and goes into veganism or in a raw sense of eating the vegetables, they feel good first because number one, they diminished consumption of starches. So they are like fasting and everybody feels great when they are fasting. But then you cannot fast forever. And you start getting skinny and you start getting pale Look at these animals that vegans have, and they try to make them vegan. I have a friend here, terrible problems with the back and the whole body, but cannot make herself to peel away from veganism and feeding the, her cats like this, and the cats have leukemia and bad health, until finally I managed to convince her, actually my wife did, to give cat meat and miraculously cats start healing. But her herself, she says, I'd rather die, I cannot eat meat. Well, so when it comes to sleep, if you cannot sleep, you are toxic and deprived of energy. Fix it. Use a protocol. Cleanse, hydrate, change your food. Fix your programming. Reprogram yourself again to fat 
So your number of active mitochondria normalizes. By that I mean you achieve the proper number of mitochondria active to produce enough energy that your body needs. And you will see that in a brain you may have up to 4,000 running mitochondria. Muscles 2,000. And this premonition that we need to eat carbohydrates because brain cannot function without sugar. This is nonsense. It's a bull. When body works correctly, then you have constant access to energy. Constant. Fasting, sleeping, eating constantly, you are energized because you are eating the correct fuel, you are storing the correct fuel, and when you are not eating, you are using the properly stored fuel, fat. This is the only fuel you can store. So, I myself, I notice that I feel very good if I've ate our sleep and it is best to go to sleep early and when I lived on a boat this was perfect because sun was going down and this was you know night is coming time maybe we saw one movie and we went to bed so by nine o'clock eight o'clock we were in the bed sleeping and then you wake up before the sunrise and you feel great rejuvenated now living in houses electricity abundant you always find something to do you're always short on time so you end up working late and it's not the same thing and i feel it because then during the day i'm tired but again, if we have a short night's sleep, try to find out, find out some time during the day. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Should not be more than an hour to close your eyes. Usually 10 minutes sleep is perfect or meditate. Just disconnect. This is like sleeping. It just disconnects the brain from messaging and you recover now don't confuse dream with thinking remember brain is transducer it receives and then processes and shows us the results or it can send messages now when it's sending this is conscious stuff and this is when we are awake this is our thoughts so when you are dreaming you are using a very small amount of energy like you can run transistor on one double a battery and you receive signal and you can listen to it perfectly but if you have to transmit, one AA battery will not get you anywhere. You will need big track battery, 24 volts, and boost it to be able to get anywhere with the transmission. So it's a difference. Dream doesn't take much power. Thinking, elaborating, this does the trick. This is where the power goes. So 
try to sleep early. Try to go to bed early and sleep. And uh, you will regenerate, rejuvenate, and your body can, you know, what the body does during the sleep is rebuilds the stored energy. So if any glycogen was used because of stress, well, it will be rebuilt. Again, the, it's a fake lie when we are being told that we replenish glycogen by eating glucose. Now, cells do it by converting fat into glucose and then create glycogen. And glycogen is produced in a muscle cell and it is produced in a neuron, brain cell, and in liver cells, nowhere else. And this is where it stays. Only liver can shoot it in the blood under influence of stress hormones, steroids. So, using any remedy to make you sleep is counterproductive. The reason we cannot sleep is toxicity. Sometimes thoughts are toxic, toxic emotions. And you just cannot fall to sleep because the thought is there. It can be also a good thought that can keep you up and become toxic by doing that. Let's say you are excited about taking a trip next day. And you go to bed and you cannot wait for the morning to start and you cannot sleep. Well, this is a positive to thought being toxic. Controlling emotions. Well, this is where mastery comes to. So, doesn't matter when you sleep. But it is important that you disconnect. So this way, body can rebuild. And again, is it really necessary? Well, it is necessary because we are programmed this way. Remember, everything is just energy in a variety of frequencies and it's interpretation by the program that is accepted. And because of this acceptance of this program, this is how we have to behave. If you can override it, you don't need to sleep. But it's not easy to override the program. Yogis do it. Through meditation, you can do it. But 99.9999999% of people and all of the animals and plants, they obey the program. And as long as we do that, this is the understanding. Same as I talk about healing, I talk about food and toxic and healthy foods. Well, it's just energy, vibration. Why is it toxic? Because of the program. Again, accepted program. It's all accepted programming. And that's why we can heal by eating toxic food and staying toxic if we can override the program, raise the voltage. Again, difficult to do. So, we go the easier way, following the protocol. Cleansing, changing diet, hydrating, rebuilding. And this is what stabilizes our frequencies. So, keep away from pills. Keep away from any kind of supplement. 
cleanse and you will have no problem sleeping. Thank you for listening. Till next time.